for the purposes of this demonstration, just go back to templates here, choose branch two type template. We want to attach that to the new device that we have that has not been provisioned or been added to the site yet. So what we do is click these three dots over on the right hand side, come down to attach devices. Here's my guy right here. Uh, it's just a, a big string of a, a serial number identifier. Um, <clears throat> We can tell that this is the one I'm looking for because everything else has got a host name and been uh, a configuration has been pushed down to it, right? Move him over to the right hand side. So he's now a selected device. Click attach. And now, so we are applying this template to this device template to this particular device. Um, what we're going to want to do now is take a look at, uh, um, we can take a look at the uh, device template and there are variables in in this uh, guy, right? Uh, these are specific to this individual device. So things like IP addresses, prefixes, uh, system IPs, uh, site IDs, things that uh, are not the same, right? That are unique to this individual device. They need to be populated either manually here or if you've got a say 50 of these guys that you're uh, deploying at the same time, you can put them in, uh, put all those details into a CSV. And then upload that CSV file. And I just happen to have right here on my desktop. A branch type two template CSV. Load that guy. And now we can see that uh, uh, it's taken those um, uh, attributes from that CSV file and applied it uh, to this device, right? And if I want to edit this device template, I can see everything's been populated that was uh, empty before. Okay. That we click on next. Now over here on the right hand side, what's loading up is a, an actual preview of the configuration that's being pushed down from the vSmarts to the vEdge devices. Uh, so this is just the command line uh, uh, commands that, that are going to be applied, right? So if you wanted to sit and type all of this stuff uh, from an SSH session, uh, you're certainly welcome to do that, uh, but uh, it's just a lot easier to uh, push it out from a centralized uh, management point, right? Configure devices. It's in progress. And done. We can come back up here to the dashboard, main dashboard. Now, for this particular um, uh, demonstration, um, we don't have a physical person out there that's that's installing this box and plugging it into the network. So we're simulating that by having that uh, uh, WAN port actually shut down. So what I'm going to need to do uh, now is minimize this browser here. Go back to the desktop. There we go. And I've got a little script here that's going to turn that uh, turn that uh, uh, that port up. We'll just run it a couple of times, make sure it's uh, good to go. And then if we pop back over to our dashboard, we should be seeing some activity here in the WAN Edge department. And we see that uh, our guy has come up. So the process here is the WAN edge has a, a hard-coded address to the VBON server. The VBON server redirects to the uh, vSmarts. The vSmart says, hey, I know this guy, and I want to push a config down to him. So he pushes that config over to him. Uh, then he goes through a reboot a couple of times.